what God giveth life. It giveth understanding unto the same thing. Only the word of God can change your world. As you listen to this broadcast by Christian Information Network Ministry, your world shall shout. Lord, I pray that you breathe upon your word and let your word come to us expressly and bless our hearts. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I read from Galatians chapter 5, verse 7 to 9. You did wrong well. Who hindered you from obeying the truth? This persuasion does not come from him who calls you. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want to stop there. I'm speaking this morning on little things that matters. Little things that matters. Trusting that God will take us some few points that I want to uh, make before we pray. Hallelujah. Now, little things that matters. As believers, as Christians, there are things that God wants us to take note. Either to make sure that they do not exist in our lives, or, on the other hand, that we have to add to our lives. Praise the Lord. Shall Spurgeon, that revivalist, that great man of God, he said, Our conversion is 5% of our Christian life. But, our walk with God is 95% of our Christian life. I don't know whether you understand that. That, oh, I am born again. It is just 5% of your Christian life. But when we talk about walking with God, Shaspunyan said that carries 95% of our Christian life. And that is the truth. And so, you must understand that, that continuing in the grace of God is all about adding some things to your lives and also deleting some things from your lives. Why is it that people are born again? After some times we can't see the fruits of the faith the fruits of being a Christian in their lives. Very simple. It is because they fail to cultivate their lives. The Lord, the word of God says where we are read, He said, a little leaven. What happens? Leaven it the whole lump. You just need a little yeast in a bowl of a flower to make that flower to swell. Am I right? Don't forget that yeast also is white. So if you if you take just this spoon of yeast, you put it in a half bag of a flour inside a bowl and somebody puts it, you don't know that somebody has added that. All what you want to use the flour to do I am not a, I'm not a baker or preacher, but I understand that if you want to do pop puff, you put yeast. But if you want to do uh, pumps, you don't put yeast. You use baking powder. Am I right? Uh -huh. I learned all those things from my late sister. I live with her. I know how to do chin chin. I know how to do some things. So when some people are doing shakara, I just look at them. It's not your fault. It is because Peter said it is not good for us to leave the word of God and do what? And serve tables. So when there are people to serve tables and can do shakara, you can still serve tables. 
you can get chichi. In those days, with all your technology available, but in those days, we make the flour, we put it in use pot to spread it and use and the sharp cutter, cut it. And it starts to do all these things. Amen. And some of this making, don't worry, let's leave that for another day. Shout out to you. But I'm saying that somebody that put just a teaspoon of a yeast, I mean, of a yeast, yeast, you put it in the flour. That person wanted to do you evil. You just get there. You just mix everything together. What you want to bake is, uh, what you do is uh, buns, or it is cake. Hallelujah. It doesn't require yeast. Now, it looks insignificant. Very little. I see that the little as little as it is will not have effect on that upper of flour. But that is not the truth. By the time you want to move forward from after the mixture to do, it is then you discover that what you think result you want to get is not the result you are going to get. Am I right? Yes, sir. That's what the Bible says. A little leaven is what makes the whole stuff to swell. Leave it the whole lump. Now, the same thing is our Christian life. How do you know you are a Christian? Little things that are not supposed to be in your life, but that can be seen in your life. Little things that are supposed to be added to your life, that, are, that is not in your life. Somebody getting it? And so, we must take note of the little things which matters, either in the positive, or in a negative in, in Revelation chapter 2, verse 1 to 5. Revelation chapter 2, 1 to 5. To the angel of the church of Ephesus, write, Jesus Christ was sending a letter, an epistle, and he said, This the address, it is addressed to the pastor, the angel of the church. Yeah, he's talking about the minister in charge, the pastor in charge of the church in Ephesus. Right. This is the Ephesians. When you read the book of Ephesians, it is still a letter to the church in Ephesus. Now, it was Paul that wrote letter to the church of uh, uh, to the Ephesians, talking about so many things about marriage, about uh, other Christian life. But now, this is the revelation, the end of the Bible, and Jesus was the one sending this message. It was a direct message from Jesus through John, through the revelation that he got in the island of Patmos. Are you following me? And Jesus now was writing that same efficient church. After so many years of the existence of the church. He said, unto the angel, the pastor in charge of the church of Ephesus, right? This thing said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand. Who walked in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks? What did he have to say? Verse 2. I know your works. There are things that are good that are added to the lives of believers in that church. God said, I know your works, your labor, how you are laboring. So, labor is part of the little thing that matters. Then also, your patience. Patience is part of the little thing that matters. If you don't have patience, your hope can scatter. What about, my wife did not know that for about one hour to one hour twenty minutes, I was on phone with people in Canada yesterday canceling a marriage that has not that is not more than four months, five months. It will be located to Canada and the man has been threatened. Praise the Lord. And the, and, the, and the lady took courage, you know, to call me. And said, so I said, the child that you would like to talk with me. Then eventually we began to talk. And after that, I spent about 15 minutes, you know, with her. And after that, I have to now say, tell your husband to call me. And that one also called me. We spent close to about 30 minutes, if not plus, talking to her. Now, I'm still going to bring the two of them together again, all right, today, or time for minutes, but I was able to 
calm down the nerves of the lady, calm down the nerves and uh, to show that look, it is not, it has not gotten to that. Patience, that you've got to be patient. If you think that yes, I'm married, this and that, there will not be challenges, forget about that. If you're married, you don't stand, there are little things. Patience will be little, but it is vital. If it is used in the positive, it is vital. It can make your marriage to spring. Am I right? But if it is impatience, it's allowed. It's also a little thing that will make, that will bring something. And of course, it will bring crisis. Misunderstanding will lead to crisis. Crisis will lead to conflict. And of course, so many other terrible things can follow. Because she she was thinking of parking out of the marriage. Four months, five months. I said, no, you are not going to do that. Talk to the man also. Amen. Little things. He said, patience. And how you cannot be an which are evil. You don't uh, have a kind of relationship with evil or connection with evil. And you have tried them which they are apostles. Even this church, you can give them credit to the extent that even those who have false preachers, those who are false apostles, they did not allow them to have admission to their lives. He said, and not an abandoned life. Let's have the next verse. He now said that, and as born, they have labeled, they have offered that, and as patient, and for my next day, you have labeled, and you are not fainted. So every labor we do, don't forget that it is part of additions. Things that we are adding to our Christian life that heaven recognizes. Hello? When you labor, you sweep, you clean, you do all these things. It's as if that it does not matter. It matters a lot. Heaven takes records of every labor. You give, you do so many things, heaven takes records. Shout hallelujah. I'm glad that um, you can see that our righteousness is increasing because another thing has joined. Because some people also donated, all right, money, put money down with little added from the church. We have to be able to have another thing. It is sacrifice. A church like ours that will not put a rope on the neck of anybody or force you to do things, we just make announcements. Hallelujah. And of course, you will see it. If the money is for that purpose, you will see that it's going to serve that purpose. Shout hallelujah. It is every little things we do. It matters to heaven. And also an addition to the credit or credibility of our Christian life. Amen. He said, look at the next verse. And say you have not fainted. Verse 4. Fast. Consult the nevertheless. I have somewhat against you because you have left your first love. Remember therefore from when thou art fallen, that love that you have lost. What you need to do, repent and do your first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly and I will remove the candlesticks out of his place as that thou repent. Is this a serious matter? The Lord Jesus Christ saw everything, everything the good aspects of God. You are walking in dangerous terrain. Love is diminishing. Love to break in. Love to God. We are approaching Christmas and the new year. Little things that matters. That thing you share. Because of love, that cup of rice, that pongo of rice, that paint, that food stuff, that thing you share, because you are concerned, you want somebody else also to have to be blessed at Christmas. They are part of the little things. To you, it is nothing, but to God, it is something, and it becomes a credit to your Christian life. Somebody hearing me? Little things. There are things I can give. If I give you something now, 
Like the great of God, I give somebody, take one, I give you 1,000 naira. To me, I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't say anything super. <laughs> Praise God. Because I can use that 1,000 naira to buy a church card. I can use the 1,000 naira in so many ways that it's insignificant to me. But do you know that somebody that is blessed with that 1,000 naira can mean a lot in the life of that person? And for that person, he could pray to God, God, thank God for this money. Ah, that Lord, I'm able to feed myself or feed my family. The praise goes to God. And it becomes a blessing to my life. Is that my soul? Because it's as little to you, but it matters. Love. Don't fail in the place of showing love. And every law is followed by sacrifice. Every law gives. You know why God loves the world? He gave his son. Shout hallelujah. Little thing that matters. Let's take notice of this. Shout hallelujah. Now, so you can see that the negative things also influences somebody's life and your credibility before God, as well as your credibility before man. Colossians chapter 3, verse 8 to 10. But now you yourself, he said, but now you yourself put off all this anger. We look little because it is not written on your forehead. It's a little thing that can live in it the whole lot. Anger. He said, what do you say you should do with it? Put it off. There are negative little things when it matters and become matter in your life can destroy your credibility. Anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, blaspheming people, feel the communication out of your mouth. Shout hallelujah. Do not lie one to another since you have put off the old man with his lips. Now you can see that those things, they are the marks that this 95% that Charles Spurgeon was talking about. You are born again. But are you from anger? You are born again. But oh, malice still strikes in your life. You are born again. You cannot control your passion. You are born again. There are evil communication in your mouth. Those little, little things, it's, uh, uh, the book of uh, Psalms, no more God it, said, little forces, I mean, that spoils the mind. Little forces that spoil the mind. Shout out to you. I, I, was, I don't know, I, I was uh, going through the back, my backyard of my house, you know, only this morning, I saw something green. Uh, what comes to my mind that is like a grasshopper, grasshopper. See, grasshopper now. Pat up, I mean. <laughs> Do you know that, then I don't discover that I've not been seeing this grasshopper these days. You know this grasshopper that is terrible like this? Green. Huh? They are, they are destroyers. Not that they are green, they smell. Yes. I mean, yes, kind of um, foul odor from their body and things like that. I remember in those days when I was in primary school, you know, you see them, I mean, you don't play with them. The ones that are big, that are brown, is what students, children used to play with. Yes. You want to catch them, they jump, you run after them. And this, but this one, and if they cover a particular place, they will destroy that. They are little forces that spoil the mind. So things that you don't take care of can actually mess up your Christian life. So the 95% of your work with God is what contributes to what your Christian value, your Christian life. Not the five percent of what you are born in. Shout hallelujah. You are getting it? The little forces that spoil the man. Now we must take note that the Psalms of Solomon chapter 2, verse 15. Now, but you must take note 
like I said, the positive things that also added to our life. If you go to that Colossians chapter 3, let's look at verse 14 to 17. Colossians 3, verse 14 to 17. And above all these things, these things, what does this say? Put on what? Charity. Love. Put it on. Be loving. I'm not talking about lusting. The love of Christ. Loving people. When you love, you care for others. You look at how this person, how can he be happy? How can he or she be comfortable? Now, you are love flows naturally from you. I mean from your heart. You can you are ready to share at all times. What concerns people concerns you, touches your heart. Put on charity, which is the bond, and you see now of what? Of perfectness. No wonder a man that loves, love covered how many? Multitude of sins. Multitude. Love over a multitude of sins. If you love, you will not beat your wife. If you love, you're not going to cost your husband. If you love, you're not going to cost your children. If you love, you're not going to disrespect your parents. If you love, you're not going to steal. If you love, you're not going to take what does not belong to you. Amen. So many things that people do because they don't know. I've given the illustration here many times that if you go to visit a person, you want to prepare breakfast for you. You now put the bomb meter in the middle and the tin of uh, powder and milk and say, Oh, take care of yourself. How do you take care of yourself? When you take the first heat, of tea of spoon, fian in the cup. Everyone is watching you. <laughs> Even if that person is not watching you. You take another one, fian, make it two. You take another one, fian. You take another one, four. And you now say, I love it to be thick. Everyone is looking at your heart. You take the uh, perpetual milk, fian. Fear. Fear. Will you use your own at all like that? These people don't know little things. And heaven is marking your card, your score card. And such a person will not be trusted. Somebody, when that person comes back and see. He has pushed a little bit of a He now sees the way you dealt with his computer and his milk. Next time when you visit that house, because he loves, because she loves, if it's something like me, it is lifting you to drink. <laughs> and I will bring that lifting. I will have them prepare it and bring it to you. If you say, I don't like lifting, I will make sure. Sugar drink, sachet, one sachet with hot water and give it to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can put plenty of sugar if you want to. If you want to have a, a, a diarrhea, you can go and chop that one. Why? You have been honored, but you have appeared as a dishonored person. And so, because of that, you can be trusted at another time. Praise the Lord. Amen. Little things. As people, as God is watching you, people also are watching you. You go to somebody's party and uh, you are at the table, they serve you, Amada. You will hold on to the dad, you finish Amada. They bring rice. As if you have not eaten for the rice, you are taking nine months, you put it. You are really cooking, you put it. Uh, you are already looking at the table. Who is a you are the, the chiefs so that you can carry it home. Eh? You, are, you, are, you, are, you are looking at it as for which I am small in my life, praise God. So that at the end of the day, you're able to put it in hand. What you will eat and it will perish. But because you are, you are not the same. And you think someone is not looking at you. 
There are people that have done that and somebody have videoed video camera them and they put it on the internet. Because of lack of this. Little things. It matters to God and it matters to man. And of course, it becomes matter in your life. Somebody get a little. Little things that matters. So you must take note of that. We are Christians. The Bible says we are the light of the world. Look at 2 Peter chapter 1. 2 Peter chapter 1. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 5. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 5. He said, and beside this, giving all diligence, New King Universe says, but also for this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. Now, the 5% is the faith you receive. I received it as my Lord and Savior, that's the faith. But the Bible says, and actually content for the faith which was one delivered to the same Jude. Verse 3. He's not talking about faith to cast out demons. He's talking about the faith of accepting Jesus to make you a Christian. He now said that after that, add to your faith. Don't sleep. Add to your faith. What? Virtue. Virtue. Do you know that your faith? Virtue. And to virtue. You know what virtue is? You are really for you all the things that would not allow anything to take in your life. That is virtues. You don't tell lies, you don't cheat, you, don't, you are not dishonest, you don't steal, you don't, you know, you are you are you are just a gentleman. Praise God. I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And some people they even do it outside, they still do it in the church. You think people don't stay in the church? They do. Do people don't cheat in the job? They do. And that's why if you transact business with any person without my knowledge, when the business go back, don't come and tell me. I don't want to hear. And because it's a member of our church, and so if I don't know about it, don't carry me into it. Praise the Lord. Because there are people you want to do business with, I will ask myself, are you sure you want to do this? I've said it two, three times. And then that person who uses all his mouth to talk everything at once. Are you sure you want to do business with that brother? He said, yes, I will be talking. Are you sure you are convinced to do business with him? And I'm saying, are you sure three times? If you have three, you go and pay twice before you go on. I will ask somebody to come and ask want to do business with him. Oh, wow. Bro, bro, Susan is a fantastic brother. Susan is fantastic. I just pray God is going to help you to succeed in the business. Hallelujah. Because I know. You know I am the pastor. The Bible says I should know my flock. And we are not too many that I cannot know you. So you cannot know so many. Shout out to me. Is somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. So you must understand that are people you can't trust. You can't trust. You don't know that so even among the people uh, uh, like the body of Christ when we are doing meetings, there are people, you know people know people that they want to do something. If it has to do with cooking, no doing buying things, this and that, and they will say, don't put pastor Mrs. So so and so. <laughs> Hallelujah. They say no, Pastor Mrs. So and so. She should not be part of people that go to the markets. If you want to send that to the market, you must send somebody to follow her. Because they have seen her. But she wouldn't know that there is something little to her, but it matters. And people have taken notice of her about that, that she cannot be trusted. If you send her there, she will never bring change. Hallelujah. I should never do change. To come at that person should not say where is my change. Integrity will say this is your change. Even if it is 50 naira, I mean, this is your, if you're not so old, you can go with it. Oh, your change, I mean, this is 
it's not that not reported speech and say, I have done that. <laughs> that your chain remains. Mm. That one he said is lack of integrity. I have done it, sister. Your chain to remain. What are you telling me? There is different thing between your chain to remain and sir. I've done it. this is the change. Sir, so that shows you are willing from your heart to drop the chain. But you are reporting my chain to remain. And you are trying to put one hand in your pocket. I know you don't want to bring down that one. You just want to put back to that. I say, okay, 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 okay. Praise the Lord. Because what is in your heart, you have that. It's more than 500 naira. It's more than 600 naira. How do you? You can't teach me how to spend my money. You go to a filling station, you buy fuel, you fill the tank, and now fill, and this and that. Or you give money, and the change will be 100 naira, 200 naira. And, the, and if the, the person at the pump is just saying that, uh, uh, He's expecting you to say, oh, okay, okay, don't worry. At times I'll be worried. I can give more than that to people. Hallelujah. I've gone, I will, I've wanted to buy corn from a woman, you know, park the car, okay, car, because I just, and uh, corn, 200 naira and things like that, and um, give 500 naira, I wanted to give up, don't worry. Keep the keep the chip, keep the chip. It is my money, that's how I want to spend it. But because now I go to a store, I want to buy something, I said, sir, your chain remains, uh, there is no chain. All those people in all those stores, they are liars. I mean, I hope you know that. Yes, sir. I said, sir, your chain remains, we don't have 10 naira. We don't have 20 naira, your chain remains 20 naira. Even if I don't need the sweets, I will take the sweets if I'm going to give it out. Are you following me? Because you can see that he has a heart to teach. I don't know why, so why you give people so twenty naira, twenty naira, twenty naira, twenty naira. Eh? By the end of the day, money are gathered that become thousands. But Christians don't do that. You are the one. If you are the one that had the cashier there, if it truly you don't have change. You, are, you see some uh, uh, some um, uh, cashiers, eh? You see, sir, they will be picking the sweets. I don't know whether you are following me. Yes, to say, your chain will be 20 naira, but please, we don't have 20 naira. This candy, it is. Uh, I mean, you know, I can't say, no, 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 don't worry. But the one I said, your, your chain, your chain will be uh, 40 naira, we don't have 30 naira. And uh, sir, don't have 30 naira. I want to say, okay, you can keep it. Bring it. Because it is my money. Integrity. But Christians, we should say, add to your virtue, that virtue, and to virtue what? Knowledge. Very fast now. And to knowledge, what do you have? To knowledge, hmm, temperance, patience. I'm sorry, temperance. For somebody to be calm. And to temperance, patience. I can see, can see today. And to patience, what? Godliness. You are godly in whatever you do. And to godliness, what? Brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, again? You keep on seeing love. Amen. Is there any other thing after that charity? What did this say next? For if these things be in you and are bound, can you see now? It increases. They make you that you shall never be barren, nor fruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Jesus, church is the solution to our world. Let's take notice of that. We are to bring solution to our world. And um, that is what the Lord expects us. We are to spice the world. We are to teach the world integrity. Let me, let me, uh, there was a man called Oliver Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell was um, an army general um, in 1599 to 1656. Oliver Cromwell, he was um, also a parliamentarian, he was involved in government and uh, in, in, in England. Now, at that particular time, he got to the point that coins was no longer in circulation. 
You know, he printed the six French coins of the time. Coins was not in circulation. And uh, Oliver Cromwell said, they reported, the old, they now said, the only silver we can find is in the status of the saints standing in the corners. Are you are we listening? You know, some churches like um, Cathedral, like uh, Catholic, you know, there are statues of Peter, statues of uh, Stephen, statues of uh, the Maria, and these are the statues of the saints. So it was built with coins, with silver coins. We used to do this You know what Proverbs said? Proverbs said, Good, he replied, will melt down the saints and put them in circulation. We will melt down what? The saints. There is no coins outside, and we need coins. If he said they are saying, let's melt them. We convert them to coins and we put them in circulation. I'm using that to say that it is time the Christian saints are melted and we put ourselves into what? Salvation. What melt us is when we deal the negative thing, little things in our lives and we embrace the little things that matters, that had post that is positive to our lives, when we are melted, when we are like Christ, then we will be able to flow. Shout hallelujah. When a Christian is in the department, he will be noticed. He will be an agent of light there. When he's in the, in the supermarket, when he's doing business, when he's a trader, when you, you can trust such things. Oh, help me to do so and so. Shout hallelujah. How many of you know that some of the people, when you are doing party, do small chops? I need 400 small chops. They will not supply that for me. No reason. Because they know that by the time they bring it, you won't count it. You ask for 400 small chops, they can bring 300. And you know, you know the system. I want to go check, you know, the rules of who eh? They will make sure that the person, the table of the person that is doing the business, you know, they what I can call the crown tables, they will supply that thing in excess. And the person doing something, you know, is seated. Assumption is that it has flowed like that. Is a lie. When they say, okay, oh, it is for plates. When you say you are doing for plates, and you are booked for 500 plates, it is a lie. They can do 400 plates. How will you know? How will you count it? Are you getting my part? Yes, sir. But when you're a Christian patron, your word is your bond. You are not going to disgrace yourself because you want to have additional place of food. Or you want to keep the rice supposed to cook, you want to keep it at home so that you can have another half pack of rice. And you have to say food for belly and belly for food, the portion of what it is for. Integrity. If we melt the saints, if we melt off what is bad, put off what is bad, and equip ourselves with good things, let us be the light wherever we find ourselves. We'll be able to affect that place. Let them know that there is a child of God there. Everybody is doing it. There is a child of God there. He does not show them. Everybody is going, no, 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 no. There is that Mr. Susan so there. No, he will never join us. With the little things that matters in their negatives. Embrace little things that may be insignificant but their matters to God and to humanity. This is the Christmas time. Let's continue to allow the love of God to flow. When you are planning for what to eat, think of the widows, think of the orphans, think of brethren in the church that may not be, uh, uh, be, uh, be blessed as you are. Don't say it is too small. Try a little kindness. Shine your light for everyone to see. Say, I hear. Let's rise up to prayer. Father, your word has gone forth. I just want to say, Lord, where whatever is in my life that 
is not supposed to be the Lord and repent. That's what he told that church. Repent. If there are some things we are talking about this morning, you can see that you are wrong here and there. So Lord, I repent. Lord, forgive me. Lord, I repent. Lord, forgive me. Lord, I'm ready to be the saint in circulation, to shine the light, to be an example for others to follow. I receive grace this morning. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father Lord, I pray that you will engrave this word in our hearts. Help us, Lord, to live by your word and do that which is right. Thank you, Lord, because you answer. And for all our labor, I pray you will reward us. In Jesus' name.